welcoming to the stage the director of Warcraft, Duncan Jones. Very painless for you. I had, my, <laughs> I had my arm around Michael Mann and I got a hug from Guillermo del Toro, so I'm, I'm so doing pretty like, good. Oh, you stand going out a little bit today? Third moment. So, um, yeah, just uh, Warcraft, just one of the most successful games of all time. Limitless fantasy world with millions and millions of players, just saying. Uh, any pressure? <laughs> There's a lot of fans. I was one of them. In fact, in November, the game will have been, well, the uh, you know, Warcraft universe will have existed for 20 years. So that's 20 years of storytelling. Gosh, yeah. It doesn't even think, it doesn't even seem that long, but when you think about it, yeah, it's yeah. been a from, really, from back it's been a lifetime. From back in the RTS games, yeah. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of stuff to draw on. So while you were making this film, um, and you were obviously responsible for bringing that vast mythology to life, and all eyes are on you because fans are very particular. Um, you know, how were you able to make the story true for the fans and yet still make it accessible for a person maybe that's not really involved or knowledgeable about the Warcraft universe? Well, I mean, there is an awful lot to, to draw on from Warcraft. Um, and I think, you know, there's a lot of uh, films which want to make origin stories, but I think in this case, it really merits an origin story. We want to show uh, how the, um, the world um, of Azeroth uh, falls into conflict between orcs and humans. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's what we're doing. And, uh, but we did, we did want to make sure that it was a film that was accessible to everyone. So, but, but, but I think that's not difficult. And I think Comic-Con is really a, a, the perfect place to show that that's possible. There's a lot of people who weren't into comic books before they started seeing the superhero movies that have been made lately and, and that got them so excited and galvanized about it. And I think there's a lot of people who who haven't played the game, who I think we can bring into, a, into a, an awareness of what Warcraft is through the film. And how has it been working for Blizzard? I mean, I, I assume they're giving a lot of help along the way. It's been, fan, been fantastic. I mean, I, you know, this has been, a, this has been a, I think, a dream of theirs to have a film made of, of Warcraft for a long time. And I'm just, you know, in a unique, uh, in a unique, unique place and, and uh, hugely lucky to get to work with, with Legendary and and uh, John Jashney and Thomas Tull to actually make a Warcraft movie. Now, you know, you have, you have live action, you have CG, and then also on top of it, you have this fantasy world. What were some of the technical uh, challenges that you had in making the film? Well, our film doesn't come out until March of 2016, so that's a ways away. Yeah. Um, but that's because it is such a technical challenge. We were trying to really do the set building and world building that was done on a film like Lord of the Rings and at the same time bring the technology that was in Avatar and it really is like trying to make those two movies at the same time. <laughs> it's a big project um, and I think it deserves it and, and hopefully the final results will, will speak for themselves. So you guys just wrapped production about two months ago. Yeah. How are you even able to have something to show us here today? <laughs> well, As last... I'm losing my mind, so excited. Uh, okay, show us something. Um, last, last year, obviously, we, we were able to sort of show a little teaser before we'd even shot the film, and, and, it, and it would have been crazy not to be able to show at least something today, um, you know, with, with having, having just finished the film. So, yeah, we've got something to show. Are we going to see Leroy Jenkins in the film? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a Murloc or two with a top hat? Um, thank you, Duncan, so much for joining us and letting us get, get a sneak peek of the film. I really, really appreciate it. Guys, it's going to hit theaters March 11th, 2016. You can wait that long, I know you can. <laughs> See you next year. Thank you.